All right, everyone, and welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Christina, aka That Variety Nerd, and today we're gathered here with more W2K24 Men's My Rise, the Undisputed Story, with our dude King Jason Frost, because he won King of the Ring in the last episode and had to defend his title in three matches in the King of the Ring tournament, which were all the matches. And uh, that's pretty much the bulk of it. We went back to NXT for a cup of coffee. We had a steel cage match with Johnny Gargano. And Sami Zayn and Jason, they tag teamed. This episode, we're going to be getting a cardboard championship. So, <laughs> as per usual, grab your snacks, grab your choice of beverage, get comfy and cozy. I mean, that's what it says on the rewards thing. It really does say so over here, right? Multiversal Infinite Championship Cardboard. <laughs> So, I mean, there's that. Let's get to more of Troy and his shenanigans. Well, what's going on, Troy? Good news. Miz is finally ready to have that face-to-face -face you've been begging for ever since you got back from NXT. Ooh. It's about time. Should I go to his office? Oh, no. He wants to see you in the ring after your next Oh. Match. <sighs> okay. What does Miz have planned this time? It's nothing to be worried about. Just go take care of business in your match, and then you'll get your face time with the boss. Oh, okay, let's do it. Although this does sound like a setup. When it comes to you two, I don't believe for a second that there's nothing to be worried about. Uh, but if this is the only way I can get the Miz to stop dodging me... I mean, he dressed both of it. them. This is exciting. It's the start of a brand new chapter. Literally. If you say so. <laughs> I mean, we're kind of at the very end of, like, one little story here because, you know, we've pretty much finished up most of the other stories. So that's exciting. Well, I mean, we missed one, but I mean, again, we're tackling as much ground as we can, right? And, you know, there could be the story afterwards. That being said, let's go get ourselves a cardboard championship. Whatever, let's keep going. Alrighty, people, here we go. We got Santos Escobar versus Jason Frost, non title action. We gotta defeat Santos by pinfall or submission, so that's exciting. I thought I pressed it at the right time. It is what it is. Oh, I almost lost that! <laughs> like, oh my god, okay, I'm staying. Just stay, just keep your eyes on the prize. Stay on top of him. Oh, that was, that was bad. That was very bad. Okay, we countered that time, so that's great. God, I don't trust any of this. I do not trust any of this. Uh, good old Miz. But for real though, I could totally see Miz being like an authority figure, like, you know, just later on in the career and stuff. I think that would be a great thing for him. Especially if he decides to become a bad guy again, that would be very entertaining. I mean, come on, I know heel authority figure, very cliche, but I think he could do a good job with it. Even as a good guy, I think he would do a good job at it. I think he would just be a really good fit for that role. I don't know. I know I said that before over here, but I think I think it could work out pretty well. I mean, sometimes they need to take some cues from the video game, right? Right. Oh, huge diving elbow to the outside of the ring. Santos is not in a good spot right here at all. More diving maneuvers from our guy right here. Love to see that. Love to see it. He's taking some risks, but some calculated risks. Because he knows better. He's not like, you know, Christina Betty who just dives off of everything. Seemingly enough. Oh! I was going to say, get the other leg, dude. There we go. Perfect. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion with another impressive victory in his impressive reign. He's been on an absolute tear since he was stripped of the NXT Championship. That we have. It certainly seems to have given him some motivation. And here's the source of that extra motivation, The Miz. I know you've been dying to have it out with me face to face since your little trip down to NXT. <laughs> I've been working on something that makes it so I don't ever need to talk to you again. Oh no. Something that makes you irrelevant. And not just to me, but the entire WWE universe. Because let's get one thing straight. 
I wasn't gonna sit back and let you jump ship and steal my WWE Universal Championship again. No! I'm taking control of my brand's most important asset by creating a new one. Wait, what? Then that when devalues the importance the of it. WrestleMania, it's my pleasure to announce that SmackDown will send a champion to the showcase of the immortal who we can be proud of. Not a universal champion forever in the shadow of Roman Reigns, but instead, someone whose star shines brighter than the universe itself. So allow me to introduce the first ever multiversal infinite champion, what? Logan Paul! Oh, Jesus, no! Give him the cardboard version, please! Look at this! Oh. I don't think we have anything to worry about. Where's the cardboard version? Give me the cardboard version. You better not come any closer. Because if you lay a hand on my real champion, oh, you will no. face severe consequences. We don't need Logan Paul as world Besides, champion. He's doing enough as it is. Fighting someone who's meaningless. Now let's go to break with no shots of the irrelevant champion. They're going to sneak in a shot of us, right? I still can't believe Miz did this. The road to WrestleMania just took a very unexpected detour. Where's the cardboard title at? I want to see the cardboard title. <laughs> That's all I want to see. That's like all I want to see. But oh my god, could you imagine a timeline where Logan Paul's the world champion? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. So hyped for the era of the multiversal infinite champion to begin on SmackDown. This is going to be straight fire, champ. You've been trending worldwide since last week. Obviously, and let me clear this up, I didn't need any protection. If Jason had dared to walk up that ramp, I would have knocked him over even further into irrelevancy. I know, Logan Paul, but no need to get your hands dirty. Oh, no. Jason Frost and Logan Paul are battling over who the real champion is, and we all know it's Gunther. All hail the ring general of SmackDown. I mean, Gunther as world champion would actually be a good little run there, right? I, we're all for it. I'm ready for the Gunther world title era at this point. We we are ready for it. All right, Troy, what do you got? Where's Miz? We need to talk about his latest stunt. Sorry. Miz is at a press junket with his new multiversal infinite champion. So many outlets want to talk to Logan. Because <laughs> you know he's he an influencer. 80 million followers across his various social media platforms. How many do you have? Don't know. But I have a lot more wrestling wins than Logan Paul. He's a part-timer who shows up even less than Roman did. Right! And more importantly, I actually won my championship instead of it being mm -hmm. made up and handed to me by The Miz. Yep. I, he, straight facts there. Cool. All championships were made up at some point. But anyway, enough talk. You better go get ready. Now that you're mostly irrelevant, you've been relegated to the opening match slot. I mean, you, the opening match spot isn't a bad spot on the card. You, like, you want to either start or finish the show. Seriously? We go live in 30, so be at Gorilla a few minutes before that. We're going to start the show with you already in the ring. No need to see your entrance for the millionth time. Happy wow! Troy, I'm the, I, I'm the one that controls the entrances around here, Troy. Jerk. Shut up, Troy. <laughs> Heard about what happened last week. Can't believe Jason Frost took what I made. Roman, if you think that you could bring this title back to relevancy, then go go right ahead. Because <laughs> we're, we're so fed up with the Miz over here. My god. It feels like a never-ending circle with him. Alrighty, well, we're facing off against Baron Corbin. No entrances or anything. <laughs> be that. That's great. Great objective. Keep it going. We're, something's gonna happen. Someone's gonna interfere. When do we get the cardboard title? I want the cardboard title. But I mean, like, you know, if the loading screen says that we're gonna make it to 522 days, then I think that's pretty important. Like, we've held on to this title for a year. How have we not made this thing somewhat important, right? We've had some interesting moments. Oh, here we go. At least we didn't have to hear the screaming, like, oh, that normally happens, right? 
freaking Logan Paul. Put Corbin away. Okay, at least we're gonna win this match. Yeah, good going, Corbin. Good going. Keep going, dude. <laughs> I want my core. I want the cardboard title. Come on. <laughs> it's like our main objective for today in this story mode isn't necessarily the story, just going after the cardboard title. But I mean, like, that's the thing. Like, how did Roman tolerate The Miz for so long? Maybe that's the reason he went off to Hollywood. Maybe he was fed up with The Miz. <laughs> In that regard, I can't really blame him for wanting to just be like, yeah, I'm done being your champion, Miz. That's what I like to think happened. Just based on what's all going on. Or maybe he got annoyed with Troy. Ref, what are we doing? All right, there we go. Oh, pinfall attempt. Oh, never mind. That's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, countered. Look at us countering. Look at that. Hopefully we got this. Beautiful maneuver right there into the cover. Could this be it? Fingers crossed. We did it! See, the Miz just simply refuses to acknowledge us, but I gotta think that the locker room probably took notice at some point, right? Like, I mean, our dude's been champion for, like, a over a year now, right? Like, that's a big, that's a big accomplishment. <laughs> oh. Well, this is all exciting. When do we get our hands on Logan Paul? I want my cardboard championship. <laughs> Come on, cardboard championship. <laughs> is it that bad is it that bad that I just really want this stupid cardboard title in my video game? Is it that bad? Let's keep things moving. Did you hear that crowd come alive when they thought the multiversal infinite champion was going to appear? Too bad I'm unable to make it tonight due to my various publicity commitments, but your passion and energy fuels me for the next time. Shut up, Logan Paul. <laughs> if you thought that crowd response was electric, wait until you hear the WWE Universe explode when you defend the multiversal infinite championship at WrestleMania. My God. What does the Royal Rumble winner have to say about this? Because that's important. Oh, hey, Finn. What's up, Finn? Hey, I just want to say, I know how it feels to make it to the top as the Universal Champion, and then suddenly have the rug pulled out from under you. Hopefully this hopefully this ends better with Finn than the weird supernatural stuff we had in the Women's My Rise. Yeah, it's less than ideal. At least you're still champ, though. I got hurt and had to give up the Universal title after only 24 hours. Then, never got a chance to get it back when I returned. That's actually gives me an idea. Especially with Miz out of the picture tonight. What are you thinking? If Miz wants to relegate me to the opening match, maybe we go out there and show him we are main event players. So we basically hijack the main event slot tonight? Yep. I get to prove my value around here. And you get the Universal Championship match you never got. Win-win. Didn't Finn get a championship title defense at some point? He had a couple of them, right? I love it. I'm in. I mean, I'm cool with it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Alrighty, people. We're just going to go through our entrance because they cut off our entrance last time around, and I just love that for me. It's like I control the entrances around here. Y'all don't. <laughs> it's like they're odd to me. Oh my god. But either way, uh, this is quite interesting. Yes, you know, just having our matchup against Finn Balor here tonight. Again, Finn Balor looking out for our main character when our main character is in a bit of a bit of a bind, to say the least. Kind of the the re the, the the thread that's kind of pulling all of this together. And Regal, apparently. Which, I mean, that's not a bad kind of connective thing, right? <sighs> Again, like, apparently the two stories, they kind of go, like, in 
parallel timeline with each other, but I like to think that maybe one happened before. I don't know. This is going to be an interesting matchup to say the least. And hey, we're back in the main event. So that's cool. And uh, yeah, we got ourselves a little bit of a title match on our hands. See, we are a reigning and defending world champion. We're not having title matches every single match. But we're having a good time with quality title defenses. And I think that's what counts. Again, I feel like there needs to be like a balance between like having a decently just long title reign and having regular title defenses. Not like all the time, but regular. But you know what I find interesting is that they basically separated seemingly Finn away from the Judgment Day. <laughs> this entire storyline on both sides from what it seems like. Okay, hit three combos on Finn Balor. Sorry, Finn, I need to hit three combos. Okay, we got two combos there. You'll love to see it. Love to see it. Some shenanigans are going to go down, right? I can smell it. I can smell it. Okay, we got three combos on Finn. Continue to damage Finn. But I like how kind of like Finn Balor's kind of our supporting character at this point. Amongst both the stories. Perform a wake up taunt. Well, we'll get there in a second. There we go. Universal Champion is setting up Finn Balor for something big here. Wait a second, it's Logan Paul. Call the match off. There we go. Apparently Miz and Logan Paul are here tonight after all. They probably didn't appreciate SmackDown being taken over in their absence. But what's her champion going to do about it? Miz said there'd be severe consequences if he put his hands on Paul. But well, what about Finn? Attack the Miz, attack Logan Paul. Well, I mean, it's better to go after Logan Paul than the Miz, because we could lose our jobs if we go after the Miz. There we go. Finn nails the Miz, and we nailed Logan Paul. The WWE Universal Champion will have a price to pay for attacking the Multiversal Infinite Champion. Who knows what Miz has in store for him after threatening severe consequences. Things are heating up between our dueling SmackDown champions. Oh, that's awesome. Let's keep things going. I want the cardboard title, okay? I will not apologize for that, but this has turned out to be an interesting little story here. And I mean, hey, we got Finn Balor back as our sort of, like, supporting character over here. So, I mean, that's a win for everybody, right? As GM of SmackDown, I will not stand by and let so-called talent hijack the show and make their own matches. I will also not tolerate my multi-infinite champion being assaulted when I explicitly stated he was off-limits. As a result, Jason Frost will be suspended for one week without pay, but this won't be a vacation. I'm loaning the WWE Universal Champion out to the top independent league, BCW. BCW? Never heard of it. Exactly, Logan Paul. Have fun on your journey to obscurity, Jason Frost. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, boy. So you're shipping me off to an indie show at a high school gym? Oh, boy. You say that like it's a bad thing. You should be excited since you love competing away from SmackDown so much. This is a bit different than going after the NXT title. Right? If you say so. Oh, and by the way... We really want to make sure you get your conditioning in while you're there. Oh, I'm sure so you do. Shut up, Troy. Two out of three falls, no DQ match. Have fun. Oh, shut up, Troy. <laughs> I say this every year, but this is the biggest match ever taken BCW. Oh, no, there's Baron Blade again. Jesus, take I thought we were done with this guy. <laughs> I thought we were done with this. Cole Quinn. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're welcome, Baron. Please make sure to give a warm welcome to our wonderful champion. Don't worry, we'll take care of him with our first class amenities. We have hot water in most of our bathrooms. The hole in the ring was recently repaired, and the gym cockroaches tend to stay dormant during shows. Oh, Jason. This poor guy, I can't. So speaking of Cole Quinn, in my little off-screen save, I've kind of created, like, Cole Quinn's brother if he had, like, a sibling or whatever. Like, kind of the complete opposite of Cole Quinn, because I needed, like, you know, something to work with, right? Right. Because, again, it's one of those things, I just want to get the achievements. <laughs> it's been a great time. Because Cole Quinn's always been this just fairly honorable dude, just doing his own thing. Uh, you know what would have been a fitting tie-in? Why not have our dude go to TBD for a cup of coffee? Have the crossover we don't deserve. <laughs> Come on, we, we definitely need this character crossover at some point with our two characters. <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be awesome, right? Because, I mean, they both have the threat of having kind of management kind of pull the rug from underneath them, right? Right. Especially with, like, you know, the titles and stuff like that. So, it's it's an interesting one for sure. Just just some food for thought. I think it could I think it could be interesting, and I want my cardboard title. Maybe that's what he enters at Wrestlemania with. The cardboard title. Alright, no DQ. Uh, two out of three falls, no DQ matches. Yay! I mean, if we lose, I mean, nobody's watching technically, right? Maybe three people, and well, the people that are here. Alrighty, let's keep things moving along here. I feel like, if anything, the locker room's gonna just all turn against Miz at some point. Except for Logan Paul. <laughs> because, of course, and Troy. Oh my god, but we'll have to see what happens. Maybe TBD was too uh, fancy for a dude here, right? Because <laughs> I mean, they were the, they were labeled as the hottest indie promotion, and so this is this is clearly not. Freaking Baron Blade is back. I thought we were done with him. You got this, dude. You got this. Yes. That's right, Cole. That's right, Cole Quinn. Don't mess with the best. Actually, we're just trying to get in and get out of this match. I just want my cardboard title. <laughs> but I feel like the concept of a multiversal champion wouldn't be a bad idea, except, like, it would be way better if it was, like, you know, multi-company involved, or even multi- well, I won't even say multi-show involved, because it's still all WWE stuff. But I mean, like, could you imagine, like, a bunch of different, like, promotions kind of come together, and it's like, oh, this is kind of like a nice little, like, championship, and maybe this is, like, the one person that can, like, float around. Include WWE in it and all that. That would be interesting. But we did it, people. We made quick work out of Cole Quinn, and life was good. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go get our cardboard title in the meantime. <laughs> I'm so just, like, laser-focused on this cardboard title, but I want to see what happens in the story. Oh my god, what a mess. What a messy situation we have on our hands. Now that the glory days of that other irrelevant championship are behind us, it's time to announce who will face the infinite champion Logan Paul at WrestleMania. Watch SmackDown to find out. Whoever it is will end their night staring up at the lights. And the big- oh, shut up, Logan Paul, my god. This is just annoying. Well, hey, Finn. I, I guess we're just at a random gym. I can't believe Miz has basically removed you and the WWE Universal Championship from WrestleMania. Me neither, Finn, me neither. I can. Have you not been paying attention to anything he's done in the last 20 years? Fair point. Well, I'm glad you're back from your suspension. <sighs> Honestly, BCW wasn't the best working conditions, but at least I didn't have to deal with the Miz. Fair point. How are you going to fix this, though? You can't just give up and let Miz have his way. No, I'll never give up. 
and I've been thinking about it. When it comes to Miz and Logan Paul, you gotta hit them where it hurts the most. Their egos. Come on, cardboard title! <laughs> well, Miz won't shut up about his big announcement on SmackDown <laughs> of Logan Paul's opponent for WrestleMania. Maybe there's something there. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna need your suit size. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. SmackDown's GM, The Miz, is here to announce Logan Paul's WrestleMania opponent. That's not Miz. Yes, that's the Cardboard Championship. <laughs> this is the circus. <laughs> this this is fantastic. I'm losing respect for these two on so many levels. Sure, our Universal Champion has had a tough stretch lately with The Miz, but much of that's been his own doing. And now to come out here and make a joke out of our broadcast, I'm not a- I'm on board with this! They look like they could be a tag team! <laughs> what else is he supposed to do? The real champion has pretty much been banned from appearing on TV. I agree, Michael. Might as well have some fun with it. It's not funny and not fun. Are you kidding me? It's- it's hysterical. Let's hear what The Miz and Logan Paul have to say here. I, this is gonna be great. This is great. As your must-see GM of SmackDown, we are here to announce the multiversal, infinite, everlasting, supreme, bottomless, planetary champion <laughs> opponent at WrestleMania. And it's gonna be awful. That's that right, was great. Miz. And let's get to it. Because as your part-time champion, full-time piece of trash... Facts! <laughs> everyone knows I can't stand being in a WWE ring any longer than I have to. Oh my god, so there's the cardboard title! I'll be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the <laughs> only thing that's bigger than my ego! My extreme lack of talent! That's one thing I will disagree on. Logan Paul's actually fairly talented. I just can't stand him. I was enjoying it. I, we were all having a good time with this. Or at least tried to. I mean, look at these two. They look like they could actually be a team together. <laughs> we've got... Okay, we've got Adrian Williams and we got Brute Force. This is great. Oh, look at us have all the finishers. Look at this. This is great. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> that was fast. I need to see what happens next. This is this this was just ten out of ten. Cardboard title. Impressions were on point. I'm I'm entertained by this. Keep it up. Keep keep these two together. <laughs> Trips had to get involved in this. This mess with Miz disparaging the Universal Championship has gone too far. So next week on SmackDown, it'll be Jason Frost and Finn Balor versus Logan Paul and The Miz. If the Dark Horses team wins, it will be title versus title at WrestleMania. What? I didn't even get to announce who Logan Paul will be facing. I had everything under control, Triple H. And this isn't fair. I haven't competed in ages. I'm taking this up with the board. The board already approved it, Miz. It's happening. LOL! <laughs> No more hiding, Miz. And you'll actually have to show up and wrestle, Logan Paul. See you soon. <laughs> Again, our, our dude and Finn, they make a great team together. Alrighty, people. We've got Jason Frost and Finn Balor versus the Miz and Logan Paul. As the Dark Horse hit your finisher on the Miz, or hit the Miz with your finisher. There we go. Well, we've got a bit of a boost to get to that point, so that's exciting. Look at us countering. We're being all swift. This is great. We got the cardboard title at least. Oh, I hit the... Okay, I was gonna say I hit the counter button, but apparently I did not. We got this, people. We got this. Bam. We got this. We can do it. Bam. Okay. We got to hit Miz with our finisher and we're almost there. We're almost there. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. We're doing it. Defeat the Miz by pinfall. Oh, I was going to try to knock Logan Paul off his game there. 
I didn't come here to play, Miz. <laughs> Get it? Because, you know, I came to play. <laughs> We're now playing on this road to WrestleMania, because I guess that's where this is going, right? Oh, my God. We did it. We did it, people. We absolutely did it. We're crushing it. We've got Finn in, uh, you know, we got we've got Finn in our corner, which is great. Although, remember when he was like our supporting character? Like, I think that was like way back in 2K19, and like him and AJ turned on us and everything. That was a mess. <laughs> but I mean, hey, a supporting character that overlaps in both of our little series here. I mean, that's that's a positive, I think, right? <laughs> Well, I mean, last year the overlap was with Sami Zayn, although for completely different reasons. Let's keep things going. I'm sorry I took the loss in the tag match, Logan Paul, but I did get a win outside the ring. The board has approved the following. Whoever wins at WrestleMania will be the one true champion on SmackDown, and the other belt will be retired forever. RIP Multiversal Infinite Championship. Thanks for reminding me, Finn. You're officially banned from ringside. Poor Finn. <laughs> what do you do? Well, I mean, he's teaming up with us. <laughs> I mean, that would be enough, right? Did you see what Miz said? Guess you got the deck stacked against you at WrestleMania. Unless if you take out the Miz, right? <laughs> What's new? I'll find a way to take care of business like I always do. Good, because I have no interest in going after the multiversal, infinite, everlasting, supreme, bottomless championship. Also known as the Cardboard Championship. <laughs> I promise, you won't have to. Breaking, the main event of night one of WrestleMania will be Universe versus Multiverse. As Jason Frost takes on Logan Paul, the winner will walk away with their championship and the loser's title will be retired immediately. Jason Frost has done so much damage to the legacy of the Universal Championship, pulling for Logan Paul to stop the bleeding. I got you, Roman Reigns, and still. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Oh, I guess we're coming out first. <laughs> That's fine. Not like Logan Paul is gonna, like, you know, try to, you know, sneak attack us or anything, right? Right? But, I mean, main eventing night one, it's still in a main event at WrestleMania, right? Not ideal, but hey. At least we got to main event at WrestleMania. Christina Bennett didn't even get close to main eventing at WrestleMania. She came back as, as a surprise return. But you get the idea, right? Uh, at least we get to have a title and defend it and have fun with it. <laughs> we need like a championship run sort of situation, like story, but uh, like this, but for the women's division, that's exactly what we need for next year's storyline. Just, just my humble opinion. Because it's like, again, like the women's storylines is always like you chasing after the title and it ends at Wrestlemania with you winning the title for the most part. Right, why can't we get a title run? <laughs> Let's get to it, people. And there it is, people. That's right, show our title, not the cardboard title. Show off our title. There we go. Oh. Oh, no. Ew, what is this? What is this? Look at this mess! Why do I see what- I, I could see that happening in real life. We don't claim him. We, we don't claim him. We don't claim him. The multiversal infinite champion, Logan Paul. Look, what is going on with those side plates? That's just ugly. Like, the rest of it's fine, but my god, the side plates just make it look so tacky. I'm putting the cardboard title in, in, in my universe mode. I don't care. <laughs> Oh my 
god, what a mess. What a mess. So I got a question about that side plate situation. Does that change on the person? With five heavy strikes. That's fine. We gotta soften them up. Oh, that was my bad. I pressed the pause button on accident. Sorry, y'all. There was a bit of a jump cut there. I'm a dummy at times. Take the fight to the floor. Well, if he lets me... Listen to them boo this man out of the building. This is great. Truly authentic, right? Come on, take the fight to the floor. We're gonna do a little taunt motion over there. I gotta say, I'm really enjoying our men's character. Normally they're insufferable half the time. So that's cool. At least I can enjoy this character this year for the most part. He's actually got some character, some personality, and he's tolerable, which is great. Return to the ring and taunt Logan Paul. Oh boy, there's the Miz. Taking off the turnbuckle padding. Okay, defeat Logan Paul by pinfall or submission. Perfect. That's fine with me. We can do it! Bam! Oh, right in the middle of the ring, too. And I, I, I love that for me. Oh, kick out at two. Not for long, Logan Paul. Not for long. Oh, or not. Oh, no. Oh! We went right into the exposed turnbuckle. There we go. That's right. Do all your moves in front of the Miz. Absolutely beautiful. I hope everyone's enjoying the series so far. This has been a hilarious roller coaster, to say the least. We countered. Countered. Come on, Jason. You got this. Uh, what are we doing? Okay. I mean, we gotta extend the match a little bit because, you know, that makes sense. Main event of night one of WrestleMania, right? Right. So I guess, like, if we're jumping around in the timeline, did we not main event to WrestleMania? Like, at all? Oh! Counter! Huge counter right there for our dude. Oh, no. Ha! Huh. Counter for counter there, Logan Paul. Take that. Beautiful. Right in the middle of the way ring. Away from the ropes. There we go. Uh, seriously? Just stay down, dude. My god, we don't need you around anymore. We're not worthy. Oh. There we go. <laughs> it's like, let's get this done. Let's get this out of the way. Let me have my cardboard title. <laughs> hey, we've been trying the best that we can with what we have, right? Right. I really wish that we would have had a Hollywood-themed WrestleMania this year, like if they flip-flopped Philly and Hollywood. Like, just knowing where everything was going this year for WrestleMania, that is my only critique. Because it would have been so fitting. But we did it, people. We went to Hollywood. We went to WrestleMania. Main event of night one of WrestleMania. But hey, still a main event nonetheless. And our championship is intact. And that's what counts, right? Right. And we beat Logan Paul for good measure. Let's keep things moving along. I'm sure the story's going to wrap up in just a second, which means we're going to wrap up the episode in just a second as well and just see where the next part of the story kind of takes us. Oh my god! Well, hey, at least we got an update on the, uh, how many days that we've been champion for. 666 days! 
That's a choice. And that was the same number of days that Gunther held his IC title for. But hey, we got the BCW Arena, the Multiversal Infinite Championship, and the Cardboard Championship. And we got some upgrade points. Oh, uh, let's take a look-see over here on social media. And then there was one, on SmackDown at least. After a hard-fought battle at WrestleMania, Jason Frost is the sole champion of the blue brand. Long live the undisputed Universal title. Farewell, Multiversal Infinite. W Universe wasn't ready for me or my visionary championship. Give me your garbage championship. Sorry, Logan Paul. If it's any cons uh, consolation, Jason Frost won't be ready for... Oh, no. Well, one in the chamber. That means that we're going to be in the elimination chamber. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, well, do we have any things that we could upgrade? And we do. Let's go ahead and take care of more striking because that's more of what our dude is doing. So we're going to use our upgrade points. And then uh, next episode, we will tackle uh, the next story, which is presumably the Elimination Chamber story. So that will wrap up things for this tab of stories, and then we'll be off to a brand new section of stories. So thank you all super duper much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button so you get notifications around here and that sort of thing. Again, I want to thank everybody for all the love and support. It's been just a crazy roller coaster ride, to say the least. And I want to just thank everyone for all of the support. It really does mean the world to me, and I appreciate every single one of you. So thank you all so much for tuning in, and I will see you all in the next one.